What do they mean by that? <laughs> Is it true that you bought Bitcoin at 67 cents? Yes, that was the lowest price I paid for Bitcoin. Well, I'm gonna put this up on the internet because I don't see how this is Kobe beef. Today, guys, we are going to meet up with Da Vinci, one of my close friends. He's very, very famous actually because he bought Bitcoin below $1, which is of course something that very few people did. Um, let's just say he's doing very, very, very well today. Today, we're going to one of the fanciest restaurants in Dubai. I've never been here before though, so I'm very excited to see how it looks. Uh, it's called Beef Bar. They also have a very famous restaurant in Monaco that, um, yeah, it's very famous. So we're gonna go eat something, talk to Da Vinci. Maybe we can listen a little bit to his uh, mindset tips and uh, about his uh, uh, Bitcoin, uh, I don't know, predictions for the future, considering that he bought at $1, guys. Actually, um, he told me before that the lowest price that he ever bought Bitcoin was at 67 cents. That's insane. So um, let's let's get here. Let's see. I think he's here already. Let's talk to him. But I'm very hungry. Actually, my 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 stomach is really uh, sounding a lot now. But now we're rolling up here in this beautiful, beautiful five star hotel, I think. And um, let's eat. Thank you. Thank you so much uh, to Beef Bar. Thank you. I was thinking because I just realized that um, Da Vinci is not here. What if we go and take a look at the other cars that are right outside here? I saw a uh, very, very cool collection here. Let's go. I always forget my phone. Thank you. I always do that. First of all, we have my car. So by now people know that I'm a little bit strange. I always have my driver driving with me. Also my, my uh, bodyguard and... Uh, and driver and uh, personal assistant. You're yeah. doing many things. Yeah, yeah. it's good. So that's, that's my car actually. You have 600 horsepower here. This Range Rover doesn't look spectacular, but look at the number plate. That's number 14. That can easily be above $1 million. It can be more than that even. But let's go forward here. This is the new S-Class. Beautiful, I like it. Urus. But I think what is more spectacular here is, of course, the Chiron and a beautiful number plate as well. I'm not an expert, but easily $500,000, I think. Somewhere between $300,000, $400,000, $500,000. But it's a beautiful, beautiful spec. I like the red. Can we take a moment and uh, have a look at your shoes? Dior. Today, I don't wear Louboutin. Today, I thought this... It's a shame, actually. Yeah. What happens? I don't know. Oh, I see Da Vinci, actually. Let's go find Da Vinci. But there are many other cool cars here as well, but the Chiron takes the price. Da Vinci! The How are you, bro? I'm oh, pretty good. How are you doing? Nice Is that your see Bugatti you. too? Let's no, that's up. not. <laughs> Today, I'm not wearing Louboutin, but look at Da Vinci. Mm -hmm. He's oh, wearing wow. Louboutin. And who made you start buying Louboutin? You did? Yeah. <laughs> 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 nice. Yeah, I, I made him start buying. How, you have at least three pairs of Louboutins, I think. Yes, probably more. More? Yes. Nice. <laughs> Good job, bro. Okay, so apparently this uh, restaurant is very famous and very fancy. So really? Nice. Okay. Yeah. Well, I heard the food's really good, so... Yeah. And Looking today is finally it. on me because usually you are paying, but today I'm paying. All right, all right. You want to do the credit card thing? No, uh, the today game? I'm paying. <laughs> today is my turn, bro. All right. You like to pay. Actually, he's crazy. How much money do you spend every month on champagne? Uh, $30,000 approximately. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. I mm. think this is one of the most expensive hotels in Dubai, actually. It doesn't look like the most expensive hotel in Dubai. It doesn't? That looks like the most expensive hotel in Dubai. <laughs> that is the most expensive, yeah. Maybe that's where we go for golden coffee yeah. after the lunch. This is cool. It's like a little pool. It's a very cool location. I just found Da Vinci's place. There you go. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> that's amazing. Oh yeah, my gosh. Here. So I'm going to go for the Kobe beef and um, some of you may not know what that is, but it's like the, the rarest and finest beef in the world. Are you also going to get some Kobe beef? I'm definitely going to get some Kobe beef. Nice. Okay, guys, we're going to eat some Kobe beef and we're going to make a nice little review of that. Me and Chris, when we had Kobe beef for the first time in Tulum, 
Yeah. We were there all the time. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> oh nice. my god, what the fuck did they do? <laughs> what? Yes. When they had um, me and Chris uh, in Kobe. Because it was so nice. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, let's order some Kobe. Look what plate I got. What's, what are they trying to say? Can you Chris, confirm? <laughs> She went right there. <laughs> it's escalated. I was like, what do they mean by that? So you're having bread today? Yes. Just bread? <laughs> Bad times. Uh, yes, exactly. Well, you know my portfolio's down, so at least the bread's free. <laughs> All right, guys, the Kobe beef has arrived. Let's now check how it tastes, because that's the most important thing. Oh, you have it over there? Yeah. Yeah, oh. yeah it's I'm a nice beef. <laughs> For me, I think it tastes very normal, to be honest. It's not as good as I, I expect Kobe beef to be. It was much better in Tulum, I guess, yeah? Yes, way better. You got, you got a certificate of authenticity. Oh. I'm going to put this up on the internet, because I don't see how this is Kobe beef. Because you can see the, because you can, like, do you see any marbling there or? Not much. No. Maybe we can talk to the chef. Oh. Well, everyone, how are you? Hello. Yeah. Yes. I, I understand you have some doubt about our Kobe. Yes, because I've had Kobe beef many places and that tastes like just a regular steak that uh, you buy at a store, don't you? It doesn't taste like Kobe, yeah. No. Okay, first off, right, I'm used to the Kobe beef being, okay, I'm gonna film this. I, I'm used to Kobe beef having marbling, right, where the fat, is and, uh, and usually they show it to you before they cook it, right? This is what your Kobe beef is before we cook it. So every single time, every single restaurant, no matter what, especially when you're paying that much money, they show it to you. They didn't show it to, they, you didn't show it to us today. And yes, because it's a very expensive piece of meat, right? And uh, before you cook it so that you know that you're receiving Kobe beef because once you look at it, you'll know right away right? Based on all the fat that's supposed to be in mm -hmm. the beef, okay. right? And so this just tastes like a regular steak. It really does taste like a regular steak. Okay, Da Vinci, as we are waiting for our um, new steak, yes. let's talk a little bit about mindset because Excellent. you are incredibly successful. Yes, so are you. Yes, <laughs> you live in Dubai. The question is, how can people go from where you were a few years ago to where you are today? Well, basically, you just have to dedicate yourself to accomplishing what you want to achieve. And it doesn't matter if you say, oh, I don't know how to get there from here, right? Um, it will, you will find a way. It will come to you, as long as you project that that's what you want and you work towards it. And if you work towards it every single day, it will happen. I think that's great advice. Visualization and then working towards your goals. And what do you say to people that say that you were lucky? Yes, um, the harder I work, the luckier I get. You're absolutely right. Yeah, right? I think that's a good point. Like the more you work, work, uh, work towards your goals, the more you are in the right place at the right time. Exactly. The more you like put yourself out there. Exactly. I mean, if you meet 10 people, the chances of one of these people giving you a good deal is very high. If you only meet one guy, then obviously it's hard to get lucky with this person. Exactly. So go out there, meet a bunch of people, and then you will get lucky. But in the end, at the end of the day, it's not luck. It's you putting yourself out there, being at the right spot at the right time. You cannot predict when, where, but uh, but that's why you have to uh, to. Um... And it's not only about meeting people. It's about educating yourself, right? Doing things that you know. Okay, well. I know that if I try to do it, to go this path and study this, for example, study like for example SEOs, so how to improve my my search engine optimization. Yeah, that's a small step in in your, your, your the stepping stone in your your, your path to success. Yeah, right. So these are sense. all these little things that you go and educate yourself to build up yeah. builds on your success route. And what about the law of attraction? Do you believe in it or are you using it? Yes, I do believe in it. I have used it. Right. But you have to be careful, right? Because if you use the law of attraction and you're not very detailed of exactly what you want, you'll get it. 
but you're not going to like it. <laughs> right? Do you have an example of that? I'm not going to pr provide an example of that. No? Right? Not at this moment. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure if I agree with you. I think um, usually I'm not very specific with exactly what it is I want. I just have like broad ideas. And then usually the universe tends to give me something that is even better than I thought I wanted. That's, what, that's my uh, own experience. Yeah, well, mine's a little different. Yeah? <laughs> yes. Okay. I get what I want, but then I realize it's not what I want. Really? Mm -hmm. I guess maybe it's for me, I'm just very clear about what it is I want. Mm -hmm. I guess that's maybe rule number one. Figure out what you actually want. Yes. Not what you think you want. True, that's so true. I think that's probably, maybe that's what your mistake was, mm -hmm. uh, potentially. Exactly. I, I think, uh, but I mean, something easy, like everyone wants money, right? Mm -hmm. It's like very few people that would ever say they don't want money. Uh, so that's an easy thing, but like maybe something else, like if it's a relationship, maybe at that point, maybe you have to be very specific about what it is you actually want, or maybe if it's something with your life, I don't know. Look at this. Yeah. That looks amazing. Yeah. That. This is not Wagyu, but it's way better than what we had that was called. Uh, what's it called? Uh, Kobe. 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 Uh -uh. Very good. This is very tender, very nice. Mm -hmm. This tastes very nice. Yes, exactly. This is perfect. Mm. Thank you guys for joining on this beautiful, beautiful day. So they only charged for one Kobe beef. So they took out two of them because one one was fine, but the other ones were a bit not so nice. But total it's 5,000. So I don't know, what is that in, um, in dollars? 1,000, 400, something like this. Or yeah, 1,500 dollars probably. Yeah. Nice lunch. Thank you, man. All right, so there is my car next to the Chiron. Very beautiful. It's really cool to see the different generations of Bugatti. The Bugatti Veyron was the first hypercar. It was the first um, of many different things. It was the first 1,000 horsepower car. And of course, the Chiron is the, um, the newer generation of the Bugatti. So it's cool to see them side by side. Thank you. So now we head off to the next lunch. Yeah. Exactly. It's borderline dinner, actually, but uh, technically I think it's lunch. And we're going to meet up with my friends from Swissborg. I met them like three years ago when they were just starting out and now they have a beautiful app and beautiful company. So um, I wish them all the success in the world. And they just literally now texted me like 10 minutes ago saying that they are chilling at Damos, which is one of my favorite places in Dubai. Maybe my most famous place in Dubai, actually. The location is absolutely incredible, beautiful. So let's go there, have a drink with them, uh, maybe eat a dessert or something, and then see where the day goes. So we're coming closer here to Namos and sitting here in my beautiful car, behind my other beautiful car. <laughs> um, Namos is a very, very nice restaurant with a beautiful Greek view. restaurant. Greek restaurant, yeah. I really like it. They have an incredible view, incredible atmosphere, and um, super fancy, super Dubai style. I love it. So it will be cool to see my friends there. Thank you. Very how nice. Are you today? Very good. How are you? Are you? Nice. You want to be the golf car? Um, yes. Yeah. Formula One. Don't, don't take another piece. Walking would have taken us like 30 seconds. <laughs> this car is already like five minutes in. But it's the experience. Uh, it's my YouTube channel. You should check it out. Carl Runefeld. Boom. Thank you very much. No worries, Christy. I will take it. <laughs> Have an amazing Thank day. Thank you. All right, guys. Ever met such a good looking driver? Uh, no. <laughs> she was beautiful. <laughs> hey! How are you, bro? Good to see you, huh? Good to see you, man. Everything good? All right, guys, we are here in this beautiful location and I just met up with my very, very dear friend, the CEO of Swissborg. Of Swissborg <laughs> and also the founder, of course. Um, so you actually created a unicorn in three years. Yep. Yeah, and, and, and what's the big learning out of it? I would say it's always that first find your mission, make sure you really have a purpose through it, and then with that, act on it, right? And uh, maybe another thing I could yeah. always recommend is is if you have a founder, you have a team, lock yourself up in a house for a long time, for a year or two years or three years, yeah. but stick to the same team, 
and make sure that you deliver right when you want. And I heard from your brother that uh, you put your Swissborg logo everywhere in your house, <laughs> like even in the toilet, like everywhere, because you, yeah, <laughs> you wanted to like brand yourself, right? Yeah. What I, was the purpose of that? I mean, I think so this some goes the same to you, Carl. Like, you always have to envision yourself. You have to portray success, but more importantly, you have to identify to something. And, you know, I have it on my neck here. I, I have it elsewhere. And it reminds you, like, why you're in the mission, right? And if you're thinking about something else, then suddenly you just see again your, you know, your, your, your logo, your hat, your yeah. whatever you want. It, it connects you back to your yeah. mission, yeah. 100%. What about the law of attraction? Do you believe in it? Did you use it? Yeah, I mean, exactly it. I think so. Law of attraction is one of the key metrics of how you get into it. You know, how do you surround yourself with the right people? Yeah. How you give to the right people? How do you trust the right people? And and, and that always gives back. That yeah. karma is is, yeah. is a life. It could be a life amazing thing, or it could yeah. be a life killing thing. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, thank you so much, man. Thank and guys, you. this is not a sponsorship. I'm actually a big supporter of you guys. Yeah. I love what you're doing. Yeah. We've known each other now for, I think, almost three years. Yeah, that's true, exactly. We yeah. met in Davos. In that Davos, was, yeah. Exactly. That was exactly when you started the, the, yeah. the, the app. Exactly. So big shout outs to you, man, and to the whole Swissbook team. This is the end of the vlog, actually. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel because this YouTube channel will completely explode, right? It will indeed. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.